Hello and welcome to this first tutorial on tornado tracking in Weather Defender. The purpose of this tutorial is to showcase some of the functionality that is available to you to track tornadoes, detect their formations, and hopefully to prepare and uh, in advance of an oncoming threat. Starting off here we're using the summer weather map which is the default map if you open Weather Defender the first time and you'll see we have uh, turned on some satellite imagery also some national composite radar and you can see there's a pretty active storm system here specifically going through Oklahoma. Now the very first things I'm going to show you in this tutorial might be a little simple for those of you who are more advanced weather trackers but that's okay that's why we have more advanced tutorials later on. This tutorial is just to bring everyone up to speed on the basics the fundamentals that are available to you and then we'll move forward from there. So starting off here, uh, as I mentioned, we have the national radar, and we have a couple layers that are ready to go, just need to be clicked on. I'm going to start with storm watches here under the severe weather uh, box here, and you can see immediately what shows up is several boxes on my map, and I'll zoom in a little closer here. And you can see here on the legend that the severe thunderstorm watches are in yellow, and tornado watches are in red. So basically you're looking at watches which indicate major areas, uh, sections of a state that are considered under a threat for this particular type of weather, in this case tornadoes, within the next really one, two to six hours. So that's what the watch box indicates. Now the storm warnings, as you'll see as they come on the map, they're much smaller areas. These are basically county level or parts of a county level uh, indication of where a severe thunderstorm or tornado is imminent or actually happening right now. And as we zoom in on this, we can see these sections of a storm. There's, tor there's multiple tornado warnings right now overlaid on top of this radar. And if you're to click any one of these, the blue information icon on here, You'll see it'll pop up with the message for you. It can take you right to the tornado watch or tornado warning bulletin in this case. And you can just scroll through that. You can see right here um, they're, they're saying that storm spotters are continuing to track a large and extremely dangerous uh, tornado. Tells you exactly where it is, how fast it's moving, and provides any other information for additional details there. So those are tornado watches and tornado warnings, and I understand that that is very basic, but as I said, I wanted to bring everyone to the same page. And this is how you can very quickly, very easily, literally with the click of two buttons, you can turn on, on your Weather Defender map and find out is there any active weather, very threatening weather in my immediate area right now. That is the fastest way you can find out. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show you is going to require a slight map modification. So what I'm going to do is turn off these layers that I just had active. And I'm going to zoom in tighter on the Oklahoma City area, and I'm going to switch over to the local radar. I'll also turn off the satellite so that we can see better. Okay, here we can see we have the uh, Tulsa radar is pulled up here. We can see a little bit better resolution because I switched over to the local radar. Now this radar will automatically update as I reposition the map. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure your map is unlocked by clicking this padlock in the upper right corner of the map layers window. I'm going to add a new layer to the map. So I'm going to go under the map tab and uh, click add layer. This will bring up the layer browser which contains the full catalog of weather and geographic layers. I'm going to go into the severe weather category and I'm going to add what's called storm attributes. Storm attributes are radar indicated hail, mesocyclones, and tornado vortex signatures. So I'll click add to map and I'll close that out. You'll see it added a new one to my map right here. The green triangles are hail along with the measurements indicated below them. The rotating uh, red circles are mesocyclones which are uh, the pr rotating parts of a thunderstorm could be wall clouds, um, but then the thing that we're really looking at here is the tornado vortex signatures is indicated by these gray rotating triangles here. And you can mouse over them and you can read the actual velocity of these tornado vortex signatures, in these case 30, 34 knots. So this is obviously a very dangerous part of the storm. We've got multiple tornado vortex signatures, that is radar indicated tornadoes. We have other circulations detected. We have large hail. Um, clearly a very dangerous part of the storm. So you'd want to be paying very close attention to this and monitor these updates as they come out. 
So that is the introductory tutorial on tornado tracking in Weather Defender. I hope you found this useful, and thanks for watching.